despite a limp start to the season at the Dubai Sevens, the rugby fraternity in Kenya is still confident that the country's national team will bounce back to regain top form. The 2016 Singapore Sevens champions have failed to scale the heights since and even flirted with relegation from core status last season. CGTN's Mohamed Abubakar has more. It wasn't the start every Kenyan was hoping for as the Shijals picked up only four points from the opening leg of the World Rugby Sevens circuit in Dubai. Kenya Sevens went through one of their worst campaigns last year, finishing the series in 13th place with a total of only 37 points from all the 10 legs. Despite the slow start this year, Kenyans remain confident that the team will soon find its wills, especially with the team having had a fairly better pre-season this year compared to last. We just have to give our coach Finney some time. I mean, he just came the other day. I believe that this team is going to deliver. It's much better than what we had last season. Of course, last season we had so many things, issues to do with contract here and there, but now everyone is available. We beat South Africa at Safari Sevens in Nairobi. That means you can beat them. And that's the same, same team that went to Dubai Sevens. Coach Paul Finney, who also doubles up as the technical director of the Kenya Rugby Union, has balanced his team with a fair number of young players and those with wealth of experience. That's the kind of blend we've always wanted for some time because now with this mix of youth and experience, I think it's just the perfect balance. Um, there will be a gradual uh, uh, departure of the experienced players, but in the same place, the younger players will be gaining experience and it will be a beautiful cycle. We'll be able to nurture a lot more. I think it's perfect. Kenya enjoyed one of their best campaigns in 2018 when they finished eighth, accumulating over 100 points. But bearing in mind last year's performance, a significant climb up the standings this year would be welcomed. I think when we aim for top 10 this season, that will be very realistic and it is something that is achievable to build onto that. And uh, we're only able to build onto that if you're looking at the next season to improve. When the coach was uh, announcing the squad probably about three weeks ago, he said he's targeting a top eight finish. I think I'll back him up on that. That is a very realistic target, especially when you consider the amount of competition that there is uh, on the World Series. There's no hiding place and it's good to know where to punch. And if they can do the top eight, that is all good for them. With the season culminating at the Tokyo 2020 Olympics, a good run in the World Rugby 7 circuit will definitely do the team a lot of good before heading to Japan. If I look back in 2016 when we were going to Rio for the 7s when it was coming back to the Olympics, I mean, those teams that were really doing well in the series went on and did so well at the Olympics. Look at Fiji, they went and won the gold. They, they won the series that season. I feel that this season and going to next year to Tokyo 2020, if you play well in the seventh series, we prepare well, we know mentally we are good and the players are okay, they are not injured, we, we can hack it because it's the same same team that we play in the series that you're going to play at the Olympics. Mohamed Abubakar for CGTN, Nairobi.